Why is blood sugar important? And why should you care? Well, it actually affects how we feel throughout the day. Unhealthy blood sugar levels can wear us down and frankly, everyone around us. Headaches, low energy, rapid weight loss, mood swings. These things negatively impact your quality of life. Hello everyone, I'm Scott and in this video, I'll tell you exactly what your ideal blood sugar levels are, how to tell if you have high or low blood sugar, and the best ways to manage each of these conditions. So, what are blood sugar levels? Well, blood sugar levels, or glycemia, are simply the concentration of glucose in your blood. From waking up until the time we go to bed, our blood glucose starts at its lowest and begins to rise after we have our first meal. Healthy blood sugar levels are not an exact number, more like a spectrum. If your blood glucose swings too much beyond either side of the spectrum, well, this manifests in your body in the form of symptoms. For example, low blood sugar levels or hypoglycemia can be dangerous if left unchecked. Here's what symptoms you might experience when your blood glucose drops too much out of the healthy range. Dizziness. Glucose is your brain's main fuel. When you have low blood sugar levels, fatigue sets in, and it can cause you to feel tired, weak, and yes, dizzy. Shakiness. Low glucose levels disrupt your central nervous system. To help restore them, your body starts to release adrenaline and cortisol. As a result, these hormones may cause your hands and other body parts to shake or tremble. Loss of consciousness. When your blood sugar gets really low, your cognition takes a toll. It may cause you to slur your speech or start being forgetful. And in some extreme cases, it can lead to a seizure or even a coma. Okay, now shifting gears, there are also various signs when your blood sugar levels are, are too high. Here's what you might experience when your glucose levels rise beyond the healthy range. Urinating more. It's your body's way of eliminating unwanted stuff from the body. By making you visit the bathroom more often, well, it'll try to flush out the excess blood sugar. Drinking more water. When you flush out that extra blood sugar, your body needs more water to make energy, transfer nutrients, get rid of waste. It makes you really thirsty as a result. Blurry vision. In this attempt to use all the fluid to flush out unwanted sugar, your body doesn't make an exception for your eyes. It draws out fluid from the retinas and can damage the vessels behind your eyes, which may even lead to blindness. Dry skin. When the body extracts body fluids to fight excess glucose, it also draws it from your skin. It's one of the most common early signs of prediabetes. All right, so now you may be wondering, well, what's a healthy blood sugar level then? Well, like with many things when it comes to our complex human body, the answer is, it depends. More specifically, it depends on two things, your age and the time you test your blood glucose levels. Generally speaking, an optimal blood sugar level in the morning before eating for anyone, regardless of age, well, it should be less than 100 milligrams per deciliter. But guessing's not enough. It's important to know the exact ideal ranges. And here you can see the ideal range is based on your age and your testing time. Take a screenshot of it and save it for the future. I'm sure you'll need it. And while you're doing this, hit that subscribe button on the Clino channel. More videos are yet to come. Okay, now that you know what your ideal blood sugar levels are, I'll give you some effective tips on how to keep them that way. So let's start on how to prevent hypoglycemia. If your blood sugar levels are consistently dropping below the healthy range, then it's likely you have hypoglycemia. To bring them back up, here are the actions you should take next. Number one, get it diagnosed. This can be done with at-home blood test kits. However, a better option would be visiting your doctor. You'll get more detailed results along with a consultation. Number two, ramp up the healthy carbs. Most people think low sugar is an excuse to indulge in candy bars and chocolate, but you should save those for emergencies like when your blood glucose goes below 55 milligrams per deciliter. To prevent the roller coaster of blood sugar swings, go for fruits, veggies, and complex carbs. Number three, take blood sugar regulation meds the right way. People who have high blood sugar levels may take their blood glucose levels dangerously low with their medications, so make sure to only take your medications at the right time and together with the right drugs. So now, what are the best ways to prevent hyperglycemia? Well, number one is to move more. Exercise lowers your blood sugar in a couple ways. In the short term, it enables your cells to take up extra glucose and use it as fuel. It also increases insulin sensitivity so your muscles can better take advantage of any available insulin. And in the long term, exercise can help permanently lower your A1C levels. Number two, take a test. There are different tests people with high blood sugar levels can take. 
These include an oral glucose tolerance test and a fasting blood sugar test. It's best to consult a doctor to find out which one is right for you. Number three, take insulin at the appropriate time. Insulin is the best way to fight hyperglycemia if you've been diagnosed with diabetes. However, if you stray away from your doctor's dosage recommendations, it can make your blood sugar levels dangerously low. Well, as you can see, abnormal blood sugar levels can pose a serious health risk if left unchecked. But I hope that after today's video, you understand what your ideal blood sugar levels are and what you should do when they get too low or too high. Now it's up to you to maintain them in the healthy range. Now watch the next video on when and how to check your blood sugar levels and another one about diabetes headaches.